Hello, it's Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta Paul here uh, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And today I'm going to be doing a, a, a few tests on my new Jagu X6100 uh, radio I just got. I haven't really done a lot with. I wanted to do some parks on the air this weekend, but the weather did not cooperate. And so we are going to uh, look at a few modes here. Uh, we're going to check out the tuner first and see how it uh, helps us to uh, make sure we are... Uh, at least close uh, to resonance. And then we're going to look at the FT8 mode and then CW mode and then uh, single sideband mode. I'll talk a little bit about a, a few areas of the radio that I'm not uh, happy with. Obviously, uh, things hopefully will improve with new firmware updates in the future. But it is a very cool radio and the form factor is incredible, especially for travel and for portable ops. Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. We're going to do these tests here, and it's going to be actually a very quick video, uh, so you can see that. And please put any comments in the comment uh, or questions in the comment section, and I'll be sure to answer them to the best of my ability. Okay, we're going to check out the SWR meter on uh, the uh, FT8 frequency. As uh, you can see, we've got a pretty good signal coming in. Not that strong. It only says S9. Not sure about that. But uh, uh, let's go ahead and go to the app button here. And then once we see the app, we can do the SWR scan right there. And as you can see, it's doing it. It's going uh, pretty quickly. Uh, we can slow that speed down if we want. But it looks like it's pretty flat. Uh, across the whole band. The second run always seems to be a little higher than the first run. I'm not sure what that's about, but we know for sure that the uh, SWR is less than two across uh, the band. So uh, we'll X that out of the here, and then we'll hook up the radio to the computer to do some SW, uh, some F FT8. Okay, we are on... Um, FT8, uh, 20 meters. I am using a bio NO battery for this test. I think it's about 12 amp hours. And I'm hooked up to an off-center fed dipole antenna in an inverted V format in my backyard. It's about 30 feet in the air. Uh, I live in a fairly built up area, but uh, I usually get out pretty good from there. Uh, we're looking at the uh, POTA uh, app there and getting uh, various POTA uh, activators out there. I just saw one on the FD8 screen. Notice I'm in USB here. Uh, I don't use the USB digital. It has shown me to have some problems in the past. So I just use USB and it seems to work fine. So let's see if we can get this POTA station right here. All right, we just went into transmit. You can see uh, that full transmit power was happening. I would recommend that because uh, I've had uh, used USB D or D USB and the uh, transmit power was zero. So I'm sticking with the USB um, uh, mode. And you'll see a full power out there. Uh, the SWR is less than uh, 1.5. Strong signal ALC is 30, that's pretty good. Power out, 8.8. .8. I've got it set to 9. Uh, right now, it looks like KC1RLS is with another station. Uh, but we'll see if we can cap capture them and look on the POTA site to see what park they're at, where they're at. Right now, we look there, we see them. And they're in Massachusetts. Uh, pretty close for 20 meters, but... Uh, Let's see what happens here. They're just now finishing up with uh, KD2SQK, and hopefully they'll pick us up. Well, okay, I couldn't seem to get through to KC1RLS, but uh, I'm trying now, November 3, Alpha Zulu, and uh, he's got a big signal. Looks like plus 14. Not sure where. Uh, can't just assume by the three that uh, he or she is from... Uh, Pennsylvania or Maryland, uh, uh, but uh, as you can see, uh, FT8 is working just fine. Again, I would uh, suggest that you do not use the D USB um, and stick with the USB. Uh, I also want to suggest that, and I want to let this QSO end here, that when you uh, use um, a cable that you uh, use a ferrite core and wrap it a few times uh, just to make sure that any RF 
uh, doesn't come from the radio and shut the uh, operation down. So yeah, uh, FT8 working just fine, telling me that digital modes will work just fine uh, with this radio. Okay, so we are on uh, 20 meters, uh, 40 meters now, and uh, looks like uh, Whiskey Bravo 2 Sierra Mike Kilo in New York is calling CQ right now. And uh, so we're going to give this a try. I'm using some messages already pre-stored in here. We'll see how we do here. I'm going to send out uh, my call sign and see what happens. Right. Kind of losing them, but uh, I think I just heard my call sign. Pretty sure about that. I'll send about 5999. Send out my call sign one more time, see what happens. All right, so he sent me his uh, scene report. And I'm going to say 73 and bye-bye. Seems to work just fine. Let's see if we get a dit-dit back. Didn't get a dit-dit. Okay, so we're back after getting a, a CW contact. And now we're going to try some single sideband. Try to get November, November Golf in Colorado. That's Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. Papa Mike Delta again. Roger, Roger. This is uh, Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. QSL? QSL. Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta, 59 Colorado. Roger, Roger. You're 59 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thanks for the park. Thanks for Pike uh, Forest. Roger, Roger, 73. So you can see uh, SSB works just fine. Just got, uh, I don't think I got him on CW, but I certainly got him on uh, single sideband. So pretty excited about that. That was really easy. You can see how well this radio works. That's nine watts, nine watts out to Colorado uh, with a 5.9 signal. Uh, so this radio works quite well. Um, one of the drawbacks, as you could just see, is that I have to turn the volume so high just to, so I'm at 50, and I'm hearing the park to park happening right there, and that's it, that's as loud as it goes, so that's a problem there, I think they'll fix that in a firmware upgrade, hopefully, to make sure that the uh, knob corresponds to the right power, uh, you know, it is a, a kind of some clunky things with the radio, uh, but once you play around with it enough, you'll figure it out. I think it looks like my transmit power was on 10. Maybe it was set for that for SSB. But uh, once again, very uh, good radio, uh, very inexpensive, and uh, does the job. Uh, I mean, it is tiny. Look, at here my hands, and you can see how tiny this radio is. Oh, here's the other thing I want to say before I sign off is that this radio runs hot. It's not hot right now, but we've only been running it for about 15 minutes. Uh, I'm not so sure what to do about it. I actually have a fan on my uh, Zhigu G90. I don't always use it. It doesn't run th that hot, but this radio runs very hot. Now, uh, I'm going to show you something I just bought uh, here. It is a heat sink, and I may put this on the back of the radio. I don't know. I haven't thought about it. You buy a small radio, and you really don't want to add a lot to it. I know a lot of people put cases on these things, and I'm not sure I understand that because uh, it just makes a small radio bigger. And uh, when you buy a small radio, buy a small radio. So I'm not sure I'm going to use this yet. I haven't seen a big problem. I haven't run this radio for a long period of time. Uh, but people say it gets very, very hot, uh, over 120 degrees uh, on the case. 
Uh, so, but I hope this uh, video was helpful to you. Again, please put some comments in the comments section or questions. Uh, but I'm pretty satisfied with the, the Zhigou X6100, and I'm sure you will be too. If you're looking for the perfect radio, it is not. But I haven't found the perfect radio yet. Uh, it does amazing things. Of course, it's got a built-in tuner. And it's got the built-in SWR meter. I'm not so sure if it's super, super accurate, uh, but it probably will be once the firmware upgrades are done. The G90 had a lot of problems uh, when it first came out, uh, uh, but now it's a pretty good radio, right? Most people don't complain about it. I have an I have a ICOM 705 and a 7300, uh, Yaesu FT891. So uh, I have used other radios, and um, I like this radio a lot. Uh, this is really worth the money, uh, and I didn't get paid to say that. This is Kilo Two Papa Mike Delta. Thanks for watching. Hope um, hope to catch you down the lock. 73.